Hello, today I'm going to go through and compare two multi-language plugins. They are WPML and Polylang. Now Polylang is a free plugin and WPML is a premium plugin. So I'm going to start off with Polylang and the theme I'm going to use is Enfold. It's a premium theme that's available on ThemeForest. It is WPML compatible and multi-language compatible in general. You can see here that it actually contains some language files as well. It's already translated into a number of languages. And they also has a basic child theme and demo import. So let's start with this. And the first one I'm going to show you is Polylang, the free one. This may be good enough for most of your purposes. It's just a, a very simple plugin. And if you just have a simple blog or a simple website, it's probably going to do you very well. So I'm going to go into the dashboard. And first thing I'm going to do is get my theme already here. So I'm going to activate the Enfold Child theme. And I'm going to bring in some Uh, demo import data. So let's just go here, demo import. The one that I kind of like is the gym one here. So I'm just going to pause this while it imports. It usually takes a, a couple minutes or a few minutes. And we'll be right back. Okay, the import is finished. So if we just go to the website, we see that we have a, a nice gym website here. So it's in English. We have an about a number of other things. So let's go back into the dashboard now and get it ready for multilingual. Uh, plugins and polylang we're going to look for. There it is. Activate it. So since our website's in English, we're going to start with our languages here. So our first one is English. And I'm going to do actually just a bilingual website. So my second language is going to be French. OK, and the star here represents this is the default language is, is English. So if we go to the settings, personally I don't like the detect browser language. That basically sends the user to whichever browser they're using. So if they're using Chrome and French, they'll be sent to the French website. Now I have hide the URL language for the default language. That means don't add EN to the end of the uh, URL. And language is set for language code or language set is, yeah, this is the one we want. Okay, and we just want to double check and make sure that our permalinks are set to, from the default to pretty permalinks. So if we go back to languages and settings, just want to double check here. That's correct, yeah, with pretty permalinks, that's what we want. Okay, so if we go to the pages, we'll see now that we have, this is our English, and we're going to want to translate into French. Well, first, before we do anything, we have to set our default language here. There's actually this little red warning. There's posts and pages and categories all set up, so we're going to set them as the default language, which is English. Okay, now that, that once that's done, we can just go in, and now we have the option here to translate. So I'm just going to translate the welcome. Um, before I do that, I'm going to open up the English one, and this little trick here. I'm going to create a template of the home page and just call it bien, oops, I'm not sure how to spell that, bienvenue. 
which will be the welcome page in French. So we have that. I'm just going to update it. And we're going to add a translation, which is the Bienvenue. And use our advanced layer build builder and templates and select Bienvenue. And we're going to publish that. Okay, so normally you would go through all these pages and translate them, have them all ready to go. Uh, we'll do the about as well. I think the about already has a template. So about is um, apropos, something like that. There's an accent there somewhere. Yeah, I saw. thought I saw an about. Okay. And there's a, one with a class, but we'll just leave that for now. So we have an about us and uh, a welcome page. We're going to go down to appearance, and we're going to select menus. And here is the main menu in English, if we see that. There's just the two menus, a secondary menu. We're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to worry about the main menu. So we're going to create a new menu. And we're just going to call it uh, menu premier. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll say primary in French, but uh, let's put primary French. Create that. Okay, so we have all, all the languages shown. If you just want to select the French, we'll have the two menus here. We'll add those. Put that in the front, save. And just manage locations to be a double, double check this. So the main English one is main menu and the main French one is menu primary French. Okay. We'll go back to edit menus. Now we want to add a language switcher to to the, the main menu. So we don't see it here. It's usually make sure that language switcher is checked up here. So we have this option available and we're going to add the language switcher to the menu. Displays the language name. So it would be French and English, but I like to hide the current language. So it's going to show the opposite, which would be English. And we'll go back and do that to the French main menu. Select that and add the language switcher there as well. And hide the current language, save menu. Now I'm not 100% sure if we're all set to go here, but let's just take a look and see what we got. Okay, so we have the end fold and we have our main menu for English and we have a little button here that says Francais. If we click on it, it brings us to the English homepage and we have Bienvenue and Apropos, which would be French, but I didn't translate the actual content, but the, the link you can see is Apropos. So there we go, if I just actually modify this a little bit. So you would go in and you would translate all those pages into to French or to other languages. And basically that is all you need to do for using Polylang. And you just go through, get all your pages done and translated. And uh, you have a nice little switcher there to go back and forth between your two, two languages. So let's move on to WPML which is the paid option. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to reset everything. So I have a plug in here. Just so when you're using different plugins, they're doing the multi-language, it's best 
to avoid conflicts. So I'm just going to reset this back to the beginning where we started. So now we just have the standard WordPress website. So with WPML, it's best to set that up first and not the website. So I'm just going to activate it. It has a number of add-on plugins that you don't necessarily need. You can see from the list here that's a much more comprehensive plugin. Polylang does have these some of these options, but you have to uh, pay for those options. So this is just the general one, but you have things uh, to do with translation management that can be sent to translators and be automatically updated. Uh, works with WP All Import, which is great for bringing over from, uh, say, Drupal or uh, Joomla. You can use this plugin and uh, bring over multilingual websites to WordPress, uh, Gravity Forms, WCommerce, um, it's a very comprehensive plugin for that. So now that it's activated, the first thing it it wants to do is configure it. So you have to finish this sort of go through all these steps and configure WPML. So the main language is going to be English. Next. And we're going to set one up in French as our second language. Okay, um, we're not going to add a switcher right this minute because Enfold has its own sort of way of working with WPML. It adds a language switcher automatically. You may or may not like this. And the key, we're just going to remind me later. And we're going to finish off this. So now we have a two language website. We're going to go to appearance. We're going to go to our themes. And we're going to go. Uh, Activate our child theme. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, Enfold changes a bit here. It actually adds EN to it. There's a French and an English version of Enfold, unlike Polylang, where it's just one single uh, options page, so both sides look the same. WPML works a little bit differently. Each each language will have its own option page for Enfold, which could be uh, very useful if, say, for a different culture has a different, you could have a different um, color options, uh, depending on the language and the culture as well, because colors have different meanings in different languages. So uh, we're going to do the demo import again and go back to my favorite one. I don't know why I like this one so much, but. I'll just pause it while it's putting in the demo data. OK, so that's done. So well, we're going to have our demo data just like before. We're going to go to the pages like I did before, and we're going to translate a couple of these pages. So just like in Polylang, we have our original English, and then we have our, our French translations. So I'm just going to click on Welcome, the English part. And you can see over here it has French translation, just to add a translation. And unlike Polylang, you can just copy the content from the English. Now we're going to just see the short codes here. So we're just going to turn over to Advanced Layer, Layer Builder, and just translate the title here. And publish that. Go back to all pages, and we're going to do the about. Oops, flip back to English. Well, I can just go directly to the French one. Copy the content from the about. Bring it over to the advanced editor, and it's apropos. Publish that. 
Okay, so one thing I forgot to do is under settings, again, permalinks. Oh, not plain. Well, I'm going to switch it back to plain first and then to post name. So we're going to have pretty permalinks. And under WPML languages, we're going to make sure we have the, the F and the R. So it's the first option here. Just in case it says you may have to resave the permalinks. That means flip back and forth. If you're getting 404s, just go back to plain, save it, and then come back to the post name. I'll just do that just in case. Okay, so let's just take a look and see how we're making out here. So we have our English website, and you'll see that without adding any sort of language switchers that, that uh, Enfold already has this put into the menu here. So if we go to the French, oh, one thing we didn't do was create the menu. So let's go to menus. So let's create a new menu and call it menu principal. Well, that's it. This is a translation of the main menu. And we'll add our pages, Bienvenue on top, save menu. So that should be better now. And man manage locations, just make sure it's set. So Enfold child menu, menu principal, it's a little bit different than the other one because we're in the French. And if we switch over to the English, you'll see it says main menu here. So just double check. This should switch to menu principal. Good. So just check this out now. Okay, and we go to the French. And there we go. Bienvenue and apropos. So if we just want to make sure, I'm going to just translate some of the content in this slider here. Uh, let's use Google Translate. You should be using a real translator <laughs> for this. free 30-day trial, why not? And you can do the button too, why not? Just make it all French. Update that. Okay, and we'll view the page. So there we go. Um, it's in French and the English homepage. Now, I don't particularly like this switcher, so I'm going to show you a little bit of um, a modification to the Enfold child theme that you may want to use. And it's this information is available on the Enfold forums as well. So in the Enfold child, we have a functions PHP and there's a couple things in here. The first one, it adds a language, a reference to the language directory here. I've copied over from Enfold. The language folder has a number of languages here and every update these get rewritten. So if you have any custom languages or custom translations in your French language, you'd want to keep them here so they don't get overwritten. So basically, that's just the first line I have on this. This part here tells you where to find the languages. And the second one here, it removes the Enfold language, WPML language switcher. So this just takes it away.
And I have some CSS. Well, actually, let's do that. So now that it's taken away, we're going to want to add it through WPML. We're going to use the language switcher for the menu. Now, this seems redundant, <laughs> but we're, I'm going to show you what the difference is. We're not going to show the language. We're going to show the native name. And we're going to show it as a list of languages that are horizontal. Doesn't so I can save that here. Okay, so if we go back to here, it basically changes that out to English and French with words. But we're still not quite done because since it's only two languages, it's not really necessary to have all this space taken. Under style, we can sort of hide these, just a few lines of CSS here. We can hide the, the, the language, the current language, and just show the translating language. So this will turn, oops. And also we have to clear our browser, always important. Just double check that was saved. Oops. That might be the problem too. Here we go. So now we just have, we're on the English side, but if we want to switch over to the French, now we're in the, the side French side. And if we want to go back to English, there. So this is very similar to how Polylang worked, which the thing I like about Polylang that it does this automatically without having to, ha to hack um, the theme. But uh, basically that's two different ways to use a multi-language plugin with the Enfold theme. Um, you can take your choice. Both of them, I don't have a preference. They both work very well. I would recommend WPML over the other just in terms of if your website is going to be using either multi-site capabilities or with e-commerce or a much larger website you might want a, a plugin like WPML as opposed to um, the lighter plugin Polylang. Okay I hope you found that useful. Uh, have a great day.